What's the deal, people? It's your boy Nigel Byam, and we're in Grenada right now once again. And I'm with a very talented individual, um, one of the young upcoming. I mean, you might be a little more true now, you know. So <laughs> I want to thank you for coming on, brother. Tell the people who you are and exactly what you do. Okay, well, I'm Tristan Charles, also known as Tris, and I'm a young, fairly young, and upcoming soca artist. And I'm the singer and songwriter of Tris Carnival Come Again. I mean, some of you guys may know it, some may not know it, but this is my favorite release for this season. And this is the song I'm trying to push and focus on going into Carnival 2024. Nice, nice, nice. So, you know, Carnival is in the season, of course. Um, tell me how the, treat the season has been treating you so far. All right, well, so far, I can't really complain. Ah, okay. yeah. I mean, I've been getting love from the people and that's what really matters to me. Right, right. I mean, yesterday I got a little griping news. <laughs> I didn't make it into the, the Soka Monarch semi-finals, but mm. moving ahead of that, I can't complain. And even with that, the love from the people still up. You know, I mean, it might be disappointing for some, but it's just yeah. an indication to me that I have some work to do. Yeah, yeah. And I have to go harder come next year. I love, so, I love that mindset yeah. because you know, a lot of people, especially the younger ones, will probably be kind of discouraged right now or whatever yeah, the case may be, nah you know? No, 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 just an indication. Yeah, that, that, that mindset that you have right now is like, yeah, I can see the distance. Definitely will take you very, very fast. So, you're from Grenada. Tell the people what part of Grenada you're representing. Okay. Well, to be honest, I'm from Willis. Mm -hmm. And... I haven't seen St. Paul's, but I represent in Grenada. I love that. <laughs> I represent in Grenada, the whole of Grenada, everybody. One Grenada. I love that, one yeah. Grenada. One Grenada. Please small already, you know. Please so small already. So, yeah. One Grenada, one Grenada. I love that, love that. So, you know, you had a hit song, mm. right, that everybody knows all over the internet. Hey. Uh, it was huge on Instagram. It was huge everywhere, honestly hey. speaking. <laughs> Telling people that song because I don't know if they could actually paint the face to the, to the, to the, to the yeah, actual yeah. song. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, tell, tell the people what song that is. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, you know? <laughs> I think you're talking about You Need Out of Best. Ah. You Need Out of Best. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That song, boy, that, that was clearly a legendary song. Yeah. Um, it's going to go very far and it's still going very yeah, far. Yeah. Tell me how, how you composed that. How did that come about? How did that, you know, yeah. what was the, the mindset of that song? Okay, well, that song, I mean, I had a verse and an idea of what I was going for with the chorus, but I reached out to Spice Boy, Simeon, mm -hmm. and he gave me some assistance along with one of his friends in composing that piece. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he did the full production, and I think one of his friends, I'm not sure if it's Paul, I could be wrong, yeah. did the mastering. I think it was he himself did it. Okay. And yeah, we dropped it on his page and we dropped it on Julian's promos. And it yeah, just took off from there and yeah. every year around Independence time, well, throughout the year, we just get in love. And everybody yeah. come to visit Grenada, that is their choice of song, you know? No, the song is a real vibe, I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Like, most of my videos are as well, you know how to tag you. <laughs> but I love that song because it just represents so much of mm -hmm. us, our culture, um, and just Grenadian and other people, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's man. like huge, huge, huge. So, with you moving forward in the artist business, right? I want to get more deeper into who you are as an individual, right? Yeah. So tell the people a little bit about yourself in terms of what school did you attend? Mm -hmm. um, and what's your other interests apart from music? Okay, well, me, Tristan Charles, I attended the, uh, well, Heinze Primary School. Mm -hmm. um, I went to Green Street Pre-Primary School yes. and I went to Presentation Brothers College, the Boys on the Hill. Yeah, yeah Boys PBC. on the Hill, PBC. <laughs> and PBC. I, <laughs> after PBC, I went on to Tam CC and I studied Electrical Technology. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. And I'm looking to further my education and go and study Electrical Engineering. Okay. So, but yeah, mm -hmm. I have knowledge in Electrical work, so yeah, nice. I do that on the side. Nice, good vibe. Yeah, hey man. Well, that's my feel, and that's what I love, and I have a passion for outside of music. But mm -hmm. what I truly love and truly wish I could dedicate <laughs> my life to is yeah. music. Yeah. And yeah, my dream is to do this on a big scale and represent not only where I come from in Grenada, but Grenada on a whole. 
and the Caribbean on a whole. Right, right, so, yeah, right. That's right. my goal and that's my dream. That's big. I like I, I like the fact that you know, you know. Uh, I mean, because I was a professional basketball player, right? Oh, yeah. So they always say, "Oh, what else? What else? What else? What else?" And you know, we all have different passions yeah. and different things like that, you know. But it's also good to you know kind of double double yeah. different <laughs> things. So it's good that you're actually yeah. doing that. So yeah. with PBC. Um, big up all my PBC people, GBSS as well, I'm a people. Yeah, big up. <laughs> Even though I went to PBC, I had a lot of GBSS. Yeah, but well, you know that's the biggest rifle ever in Grenada, so... <laughs> yeah. that, is, that is big, but tell me, did you, um, were you in the choir or anything like that? Because I know PBC Actually, is... I was, I was... If not the top lead vocalist, one of the top lead vocalists throughout wow. my tenure at PBC. Wow, Yeah, wow. so that really gave me, you know, a solid foundation. Yeah. Was that was that the starting of, of your musical journey? Is that where you uh, actually fell in love with it, or? I wouldn't say that. I always had a passion and a love for music mm. ever since. But PBC really, you know, brought back the feeling and the good, um, the good, what to say, the good energy, yeah. the good vibes. Yeah. The, the beautiful harmonies right. and just brought back and deepened my love for music. Mm. Yeah, so PBC really did that for me and I want to thank them for that. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually didn't want to join the choir when I just started. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why? Because yeah. I always start with like, you know, gifts <laughs> and them kind of thing. And you check, I just joined secondary school, you know, I want to be the freshman. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I tried out and they asked me, you know, to be a part of it. I accepted at first. It wasn't my favorite thing to do, but as I continued, I built a love for it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm really glad I took the opportunity that and good, made the most yeah. out of it. That is real. That is, yeah. that is a solid, nice foundation. Because, I mean, PBC Choir does amazing, yeah. amazing things. You know yeah, what I mean? Mr. Brisan, man. Yeah, yeah. Does, a, does amazing things. So, moving forward now with the musical journey, I want to ask you, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Okay. In the next five years, um, I would say, I see myself, hopefully, if not representing Grenada, starting to represent Grenada on a larger scale mm -hmm. and representing soca music out there. Yeah. And I just want to keep building and developing my unique style in the music right, to right. stand out from the rest yeah. and just create my own vibe and create a good image for myself. I love that. I love yeah. the imagery and you know the mindset of the imagery because young individuals like yourself, you know, especially in Grenada here, but my feel is marketing as well, marketing, yeah. advertising and stuff like that. And I think uh, we lose a sense, yeah. especially at a young age, it's so hype on the music and just yeah. living, the, living yeah. the life, you know what I mean? Forget, yeah. yeah, forget the image. So I, I could see that the way you portray yourself in all interviews, the way you, you carry yourself through all the season I've been watching. And you're doing an amazing job of, of, of professionalism and, and how you're moving towards things, even the way you know, with, 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 you know, unfortunately, you didn't get to go to the semi-final round. Yeah. Um, and the way you handle it, mm. the way you handle it on yeah. social media, it was like yeah. a real professional. So yeah. I want to applaud you on that aspect, exactly. you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, man. So, um, so my next question is, that young man that started singing in the choir at PBC, right? Yeah. With all your knowledge that you have now and what you've been through in the music industry, what would you tell that young Mm -hmm. Chess, what would you tell your younger self? Like, younger you know, self. Yeah, yeah, what would you tell your younger self? Just keep going at it, keep mm -hmm. going at it. And in life, I would say always do what you love to do. Because if you do what you love to do, you never work a day in your life. Love you that. understand? So yeah. like, and work is a burden mm -hmm. for most people. And that's what causes a lot of people to be unhappy in life. So if you find something that you love, tap into it. I mean, sometimes it's hard because you might have pressures of your family on you. And I mean, at first, it might not be bringing in enough money to sustain your lifestyle or your family member's lifestyle. But at the end of the day, if it is something that's feasible and there's a way that you can make money from it, try to do your best at it and see how you can provide a living for yourself and the people around it so that they could be comfortable. Wow, yeah, that's big, that's big. So the next last question I want to ask you um, is, give us some advice you would tell to a young PBC kid right now that's in the choir mm -hmm. um, that potentially wants to walk in, in your your shoes one day of, of, of yeah. becoming an artist, artist and pushing it full time. What, what would you tell them mm -hmm. how to start? How, how, how do you do this? <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, for me it just happened, but <laughs> right. you have to want it. If you don't want it, it won't happen for you. So you have to be going behind it. You have to know what you want and you have to be focused. 
because there's a lot of distractions out there and you just have to stay and stick with what you want and what you know that you want no matter what nobody is telling you no matter what the people around you are doing just have a strong mind and know that i'm going for this i'm going to do this and the key in everything that you do is to stay positive and believe in yourself because i always say if you don't believe in yourself nobody will believe in you yeah. so you just have to have that inner confidence and put your best foot forward every time and every time you do something try to do it better than the last i like that piece yeah. i love that so the fact that you know doing it better persistence, yeah. determination, confidence, all of that. That's something that I feel like you embody to the fullest. And I, you know, I honestly want to see you. Yeah. I want to see you win. I want <laughs> to see it so bad. I want to see it, you know what I mean? And it will happen, him. Yeah, just I ain't worry, you know. time, man. Yeah, you go send me a message and tell my boss, come have a little VIP yeah. time, you know what I mean? Come, come take the videos, you know? <laughs> yeah. So that time, that time will definitely get here. Yeah. Um, so who's the artist that you would love to work with? Artists um, that are yeah. local. Like, let, let me keep it local. Mm -hmm. Who's a local artist that a you would like artist. to work with? Well, to be honest, a lot of them. Yeah. But I would say, well, I always reach out to man like Jab King, mm -hmm. Dash, even Vaughn. Yeah. Um, and a low, a low profile artist that I would want to work with is a guy named Chis. I know if you know him. From St. Paul's? Yeah, Chis. Oh, that's my boy. Yeah. I like, I like, I like his style. Yeah, it don't stand yeah, out yeah, yeah. to me. I like different, right? You know, and he stand out to me in the soca industry because he always on his own wave, you know, doing his own That's thing. And yeah, I like, I like that kind of move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and know? you know, it's funny. Or you guys have a same yeah. kind of because his brother Rayon, big up Rayon. Yeah, Rayon. <laughs> um, that was my boy. He used to play ball. I used to coach yeah. him a little bit and things, but. He has a style very similar to yours eh? yeah. in terms of just like a mellow, yeah. very, very the harmonies and yeah. all them kind of things. So that is somebody, yeah. yeah. Study your head, boss. <laughs> That's my boy, though. So big him up. He's a very, very, very talented artist. Yeah, man. Well, like, you know what I mean, yeah. So tell the people where they can find you, all your social media handles and stuff like that. All right. So on Facebook, Tristan Charles. Tristan Charles on Facebook and everywhere else. Tris Official with three Fs. Yes. So Tris Official with three Fs on all other platforms except for Instagram. Except for Facebook, sorry, which is Tristan Charles. Got you, got you. I mean, I want to thank you so much for coming on Inside TV because, you know, you are the future of, of our music industry here. Yeah. And I know everybody out there, this this is the one that's going to make us extremely proud one day. Yeah, man. Um, flying the flag and doing amazing things. So thanks so much for yeah, being man. on Inside TV. This is... Love. Lovely, 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 love, lovely. Love. Big up everybody that's out there that's watching. Make sure you follow this guy. Support him as much as yeah, possible. Man. This Tris is official. Tris official. This is <laughs> this is the guy. I'm telling y'all. Y'all know when I say something and it's happening, you know, but believe me, this is the one right here. And let's continue supporting him throughout the season, man. The road match is always there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always there. So that's that's something you can going, support going to. Forward, yeah. 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 And about come again, going forward. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. And we have all the the handles under this video, so I need you guys to go and tap in and make sure you lock into him. Inside TV, one love to you. Peace out.